when you teach people how to no longer live in the future or live in the past, trying to predict their future, re return to the familiar past, and you teach them what it means to be in the present moment, and they labor for that present moment, when they finally hit that sweet spot, something amazing happens. You get creative. Because my definition of creation is when you forget about yourself. You are so present in the moment, you're no longer a face. You're no longer a skin color. You're no longer a gender. You're no longer a sexual preference. You're no longer a diet. You're no longer a profession. You're no longer a wardrobe. You're no longer a sports car. You're no longer a name. You are nobody. No one, no thing, nowhere, in no time. And that is the moment you are pure consciousness. And that elegant moment where you are pure consciousness, that is the moment you walk through the door to the quantum field. And after looking at 4,500 brain scans, if you can teach a person instead of narrowing their focus to open their focus and focus on nothing, space, focus on energy, all of a sudden, those different compartments of the brain that were once subdivided, they begin to unify. They begin to synchronize. The front of the brain starts talking to the back of the brain. The right side of the brain starts talking to the left side of the brain. And all of a sudden, the brain is going into psychic union because what sinks in the brain links in the brain. And all of a sudden, the person feels more like themselves than they had in a long time. So... We've seen this in real time in our meditations, watching it, watching people do it. And now we're able to predict it when it's going to happen. And when that person is no longer thinking and feeling in the same cycle, they're gone. They're elsewhere. They are a thought and possibility. That's the moment their consciousness merges with a greater consciousness. That's the moment the subjective consciousness merges with the objective consciousness of the field and they begin to merge together and when they come back they take a piece of it with it they become more loving they become more giving they become more willful they become more conscious <clears throat> they become more mindful its nature becomes their nature its mind becomes their mind and when we see this happen we can look at the the dimensional picture of the brain and all of a sudden you start to see it synchronizing the two halves are coming together the unity of polarities the unity of duality is wholeness is love and at the exact time that brain starts going into psychic union that energy from these centers moves right into the heart and boom the field around the body can go up to nine meters wide now they feel connected to something greater, no longer separate from possibility. They're no longer focusing on matter and objects and things. They've taken their attention off the electron and quantum physics, and they put it on the wave of possibility. That's what creation is. And once that energy hits the heart, the heart starts getting very organized. They're in love with the experience, and they want the moment to last. And when you see those two hemispheres come together in that psychic union, you can walk from the computer around and look at that person, and there are tears of joy rolling down their face. They feel connected to something greater. They are so whole that it is impossible for them to want. How could you want when you're whole? And I call that the natural state of being. That's who we really are. And we no longer feel separate. And the moment you step out of the way, that autonomic nervous system that's giving you life says, she's gone. Let's clean house. Because the autonomic nervous system is self-organizing. And it steps in and creates order where there's disorder. We've had people stand up that have had pain their entire life, have no pain at all. And of course, their first words are, I can't believe it. it. Wasn't me that did this. It's the power within me that did it. In 
And so then finding the sweet spot of the generous present moment every single day of your life